In this video, I will explain how to look at the data in JUMP and then also to partition the data into training and validation data sets. So once we've opened a data file in JUMP, we can look down the left and we can see the data types that are there for each of the columns of data. Here are columns of data. You can see along the left of this that there is an index. So this is JUMP's index that goes from one until as many records that are in the data set. If you left click, you can see what the data type is. And if you right click, you can actually go in and change that data set. So we could go into column information. And if we wanted to change price to be something other than continuous, we could do that over here. So we can take something that is one data type and change it and let Jump know what type of data type it is by, uh, by doing this and changing the data type. And generally, it makes good guesses. It takes things that are obviously numbers and calls them a number. You might get into a situation, though, where if you had something like department one, two, three, four, which is just really a name for a category, then you might want to go in. If that happens, then you're going to want to go in and change the data type from a number to a nominal category. So for example, if price was such a column, then we would go in here and we would change it to nominal. And then uh, it would recognize that that's just a name of a category instead of a number. So now, how do we partition the data? So under Analyze, there is predictive modeling. And you can come down to Make Validation Column. And this dialog allows us to create a validation column. And it allows us to put in what proportion of the data is going to be in our training set and what proportion is going to be in our validation set. And if we wanted to, we could actually have a, a test set, which would be a third set. And there are some algorithms that are best evaluated by doing a test set. And some, it's sufficient to do a training and a validation set, which is what I will do in this example. And so we can name the field whatever we want. So we could call it, uh, since I'm doing 6040, I'm just going to put a little memory note here in the field name that I did 6040. And then we need to specify a seed. The seed determines how randomization is done. And so depending on what seed you set, you'll have different records randomized into the various partitions. So if I select a seed of five here, and I'm just randomly or just arbitrarily picking one, then it will drive the randomization process. And for students or others to get the very same randomization results, then they also should go in and put in the very same seed to be able to achieve the same results. So I'm just going to put a little memory jogger to myself and say that I used a seed of five. That way it just helps me remember that I did 60-40 split and a seed of five. Once we've put our seed in, we can go fix random. So it's created our validation column where we have a combination of training and validation data. And it's in, the, it's in the appropriate split. And you can see down right here, this is categorical, as it should be. And it's marked it for us here. This has been generated by Jump to be able to allow us to do our training and our validation.